not an ideal day. I know the way that our session ended. Do you have any idea what caused the shutdown? Uh, not yet. I was just in there. Just uh, I just lost power, and so um, they just told me to stop. But it's not the end of the world. It's been a, a beautiful day in terms of weather. It's amazing to see the the crowd. You know, there's so many people here. It's good to see people hype. Um, and the first time we've seen the full, full energy, uh, well, not the full yet, because we'll probably see it in the next two days, but um, all the energy that the, the Dutch fans bring. I um, mean, this morning we only really got like 20 minutes of running, obviously, with that red flag. So, naturally puts us on the back foot, but uh, Valtteri looked like he had a, a good session, so hopefully tomorrow we can try and fill in, make up for some of the time, hopefully. You say only the running this morning in that red flag session, but you were fastest in that. Is that some solace for the day? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, it wasn't feeling too bad then. I made some changes into this session, but I got one lap with it. So very, very hard to to pick um, whether it's good or bad points from that change. But as I said, we've got we've got uh, Valtteri who did a lot of running, lots of data analysis we have from all the long runs. Most other people got their long runs. So um, yeah, see how it goes. It's been a long time since you drove on this circuit. Last time in Formula Three, now in Formula One. How does it feel? Oh man, the track is epic. Uh, it's really fantastic. I, I do. It brought back so many memories when I first got out there and um, of when I was driving here because I, I didn't really remember. I knew that it was great when I was in Formula Three, but um, it's crazy in the Formula One car. I mean, the speed we're going through Turn Seven. It's it's a uh, it's a real racing circuit. Um, it'll be interesting to see whether I, I don't think you're going to be able to overtake uh, here because it's just high, high downforce, super fast corners, which you probably won't be able to follow through, but um, let's hope, let's hope that there's like good strategy for, for Sunday. All on quali, I guess. How hard is it going to be to find a clean lap? Clean lap, I don't think will necessarily be the it main issue. It's just, for me, it's just catching up, you know, I've um, not really had any, but this guy does a fantastic job and we're not too far off on setup most of the time. So hopefully uh, the work, great work he's done today will help. And I know you're talking about all of the Verstappen fans here, obviously uh, in the grandstands going crazy, so much vibe around the track. But I don't know if you saw, but during FP1, somebody had hired a plane. Uh, to someone, someone messaged it to me. Up and just, down the beach. Oh, that's incredible. Um, uh, the team, my, my fans are, honestly, I love them so much. And they're, I'm so grateful for their enthusiasm. And, and in general, I just, I, I appreciate all fans of sport, right? Everyone's here to have a great time. Um, it's only natural I'm competing against their uh, their, their, their driver and so it's you know I don't take anything to heart but yesterday I got a, a great reception here so um, yeah I hope that it's a great weekend for everyone.